Hello, I'm Zira. I'm going to explain how you can use Sims Assistant to resolve your Sims 4 mods conflicts. To download the application you should go to github.com and search for Sims Mod Assistant. That's one. Find the releases page. Here you can download latest release. Just unzip it and run the exe file. Here is our fancy application interface. You can configure language in the settings dialog. I have 10 gigabytes of mods, and I have no idea what's going on there, so I'll just create a new folder to keep all mods I'll find useless. Now I'm opening mods directory, and almost immediately we can see number of files inside, how much space they take. I'll select search of exact duplicates for now. It finds copies of files, even if their names differ. The application analyzes real contents of each file. Once search is finished, we can see a list of conflicting mods and skipped files. Each skipped file has a label with information about the reason why it's skipped. If you click on a file its location opens. Let's get back to the conflicts list. This tab has a search bar, and the list of files itself. All files are grouped, only files within same group conflict with each other, each group is independent. On the top of each group you can see labels that explain why they are assumed as conflicting. By the way, almost everything has tooltips, so you might find some clarification there. You can also open file location, but I would strongly discourage you to manually move files while they are displayed in the application. You can configure path to Sims 4 Studio. and use this cute button to open the mod directly in the studio. Let's talk about checkboxes. You can select individual file, group, or all filtered files. Let me filter cherry tree then select all. And remove the filter. You can see that other files are not selected. Ok, I think I can move one of these away, because it's obviously the duplicate. I select it and click Move Selected. Sounds simple, but stay tuned for more. Now I'm gonna show you more advanced search. This one doesn't check if files are duplicates, but analyzes the mod contents, and the fields that are inside it. For example, it can find several mods that share one slider, so only one works. You can notice that labels on the top are now showing different things like CAS or catalog, you can hover to see a description. Oh, why haven't I done it before? Let's pay a special attention to this button, it shows you a conflict graph. This example is simple, you see that these two files are grouped together, that means that all their keys are similar. These two looks the same, so I'll just move one away. This example a little more advanced, the files are not grouped together, and they share only 8 keys, but they also have some other keys they don't share. Anyways I have no idea what you should keep, I'd better select one with more colors, but I didn't do that in the video, because I have no intelligence. Ok let me show few more examples. In some cases you might find out that it's recolor, if you cannot read the file name ha. Huh? Or you can see that one file in the middle shares keys with several other ones. So to clarify it look carefully and check files with the studio. Thank you, I hope this application will be useful for you.